why are we not talking about the triple meltdown? And it is the biggest threat to the health of this country, economically, socially, philosophically. Now, Gina McCarthy was head of RADNET. Now, RADNET did not work. And we were hammered. The, the ratings that the plume came over us in March of 2011 were gigantic, and RADNET magically did it. Now she's head of the EPA. We, a colleague and I named Tony, we call it Plume Gate or the Pacific Genocide. It's 924 days, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Now, Senator Wyden and Senator Boxer have called for hearings. Why are we not discussing this in Washington? Uh, thank you. First of all, uh, tell me more about your work with Senator Boxer. Tell me what she's got in mind. Well, this is the San Onofre right here. That's We've the got, one in Orange County? No, that's, that's Diablo Canyon. San Onofre has been shut down. By the way, the reactor is parked in our, in, and that's a whole other commentary out here on the Energy Solutions site, which is, in tr well, they've been delisted. These are the people in charge of our nuclear waste. We've got, San Onofre's been shut down. We exposed the, the lies that was going on there. They had an accident there that went unreported for 12 days, and it was a bunch of freelancers. Senator Boxer has called for hearings. Senator Wyden went to Fukushima, Japan, just a few days after it happened. He reported to Congress, and he said, it's much worse than I thought. Now, Jack Gregory Jack, who was head of the Nuclear Regulatory Committee, resigned over this. Now, Allison McFarland's head, which I know, she has ties to this university. And this thing is a catastrophic night. It's a triple meltdown that is being pushed in the Pacific. Now, the USS Reagan went in early. Now, Senator Boxer has called for hearings. She, head of the one committee, Senator White has called for hearings, and we've gotten no traction. And I think this would be a great issue for you, as we have so much experience with downwinders in Utah, Scott Matson. By the way, Eileen Walker's mom was my second grade teacher, and she was an amazing woman. And I really appreciate you coming here and giving us the opportunity, but I think I think it, because I really believe that you can be the transformational senator to break down this clash that we have. I, I, I have a lot of hope for you. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. My dad was a downwinder as well. I lost him to cancer 17 years ago. It was only after his death that we learned that uh, the cancer he had. Uh, I'll sit down and let you talk. Alcohol, thank you. Uh, based on the type of cancer he had and where he had lived and when he had lived, he was a downwinder and uh, his cancer was linked to that. Um, and so, uh, how are you doing, by the way? You, 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 well, I was given two well. months to live, and it's 23 months, and I'm alive. I was down to 119. <laughs> so. By the way, we have an incredible bone marrow transplant center there at LDS. It's a gentleman named Fimbo Peterson. It's an amazing, and they hire all these beautiful Weber State nurses. <laughs> And uh, I think you answered, answered my question. I was about to ask you where the LDS mission was, and I was slow to get the joke. That was your LDS yeah, mission. Yeah, I'm, LDS I'm still on it. <laughs> First of all, um, uh, Ron Wyden, who's my Democratic colleague from Oregon, he's the chairman of the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. Right. I served on that committee with him. He's become a good friend, and uh, we've worked across the aisle on a number of issues where he and I agree. When I get back to Washington on Monday, I'm going to talk to Ron Wyden about this very issue. And I'll give your aide my information. I've been, I've been the spearhead on this whole fight from this university, by the way. And so I, I'm glad to hear that you are friends with Wyden because he's been out on front of this issue. And I think you guys can really do a lot for this country in addressing this. He's a good man. He and I have a number of pieces of legislation we're working on together uh, related to uh, our Fourth Amendment rights, uh, trying to protect our Fourth Amendment rights against excessive interference by the NSA and their intelligence gatherings. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir.